this is a makeup for uh, for the betrayal, the betrayal that I that I endured from uh, from Gus and Griffin, and uh, I'm using this episode as my uh, this is sort of my crossing of the Rubicon in a way because because uh, I'm upset at them, much the way Caesar was upset. Uh, no, I'm not actually upset. Uh, I'm doing this episode with Becca. Hi, Becca's back. Um, yeah, I they recorded the episode that was put out yesterday. I. Uh, I wasn't on it because I thought I was going to be in Wisconsin for it, but then I wasn't. I came back early, and uh, then then they recorded without me, even though I was still there. Um, Do they not okay. have internet in Wisconsin yet? Uh, no, I was uh, <laughs> yet. No, they don't. Um, okay. They no, I was uh, I was in like a, a cabin. I was at a rural cabin. Oh, uh, doing doing fishing with my with. With with my conservative family members that like doing that, um, I I <laughs> I learned uh, I learned a really interesting thing about my family because like family I I feel like family stories aren't really interesting if it's like you know it's like oh my grandpa you know my grandpa once you know bagged a bagged an elk this big like that's not that's not interesting. Um, or it's like, you yeah, know, my especially grandpa... If, especially if you don't have any hands, so you can't, yeah. <laughs> you know, show how big the yeah. elk was. Yeah, that's how you should, That's how they measure elk. Uh, that's how they, like, rate the trophies, is by how big your hands go across to show... Exactly. Um, no, or like... Uh, or even, you know, like... It's not, it's not even, like, as much fun, you know, you could say, like, oh, my grandpa, you know, marched with MLK. Like, that's, you know, like, that's good. That makes your grandpa, you know, good, at least in that in that instance, but it's not that interesting. I did learn uh, a way that my grandpa was kind of a piece of shit, <laughs> which was that uh, he uh, he told me he was talking about uh, about drugs, mm-hmm. uh, and um, I thought it was going to be. And he was talking about uh, about like psychedelics because he was a he was a doctor uh, in like the '60s and '70s, or that's when he was going through med school, right? And, uh, you know, he was, like, talking about psychedelics. He was like, oh, he's just going to be, like, ragging on about how, you know, they destroyed people or whatever. Oh, or God. actually, you know, that is what he did because he talked about, uh, you know, when I was in the Army, uh, I was oh. in the Army with medical school, uh, my my commanding officer was telling us that uh, the painter that we had come by, we, uh, we he slipped LSD in his coffee and <gasps> then he couldn't paint at all. <laughs> oh, my God. So, which is... The timeline matches up with MK Ultra. Your grandpa was you know? in MK Ultra. That's insane. My grandpa was adjacant to MK Ultra at least. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time I asked. Sorry, is that the end of the story? I don't want to. Interrupt. That's pretty much the. Oh, he also said. I. Uh, he also. Well, he he showed some because he said, and you know, of the hundred people that were dosed, you know, ninety nine of them came back. But I always wanted to know what what happened to the other guy. Oh you know, that God. last one guy, and that always made me feel bad. <laughs> Yeah, that seems that seems insane. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up to see if it's a thing that I could find. Artist LSD uh, MK Ultra. Oh well, that's how they did MK Ultras with like LSD. Right, but you mentioned the artist in particular, and I feel oh like no I no it wasn't that. an artist. It was oh. someone that was like painting their uh, painting like the the building. It was oh. just some contractor, and they were like, "Let's slip LSD," and it's like, "Oh yeah, he was just like grumpy all day and couldn't get anything done." It's like I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> it's like i guess <laughs> um i, I feel yeah, like, like drugging people without their consent was like like a huge thing back in the 20th century you know yeah like people loved doing that shit it was like mustard yeah. gas in the 1910s lsd in <laughs> yeah. the 60s <laughs> they toast you with my, they put it they yeah look the, the germans tried doing it on a, a small scale by just like pouring a little mustard gas in the the french coffee but yeah i mean the work. united states government did it by doing Chernobyl, which was a deliberate yeah. thing by the State Department. Yeah. I'm starting that conspiracy theory. I don't think anybody have believes you, that. But <laughs> have you seen uh, the Chernobyl like the HBO series? Yeah, I have. It's um you know, I think it's like good T V, but there are also like some thing like there are clearly times where they're like trying to make it more dramatic. Mm-hmm. And there's like there's like there's like half an episode just dedicated to the guy that goes around shooting dogs. Yeah. I remember and that. it's like, yeah, it's like you have to be the baddest motherfucking dog sniper this side of the, you know, Dnieper River if you want to survive <laughs> here. I'm going to show you how to kill dogs. 
What annoyed me <laughs> the like, most about it was how they were obviously trying to turn it into a Trump metaphor, which I'm fine with. You know, I'm fi- I don't yeah. like Trump. Not a fan. He's yeah. he's a funny guy, but not a good person. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, but they were like obviously trying to retrofit <laughs> the Soviet government of the 1980s into a Trump metaphor, and I was like, it's like, dude, you don't need to make it politically relevant to uh, the year 2019. Oh, yeah, that was, I mean, that was, like, the height of it, assuming it was developed through, like, you know, 2017 to 18. Mm -hmm. That was, like, they, they must have been, they must have been high-fiving each other so much in the writer's room. It's, like, I almost, I almost, like, can't blame them for doing that. If you're, like, a, if you're, like, a 40-something TV writer, and it's, like, 2017, and you're writing about, like, the Russian government, Mm -hmm. it's, like, how are you not going to take, like, half those days off? True. Just to, just to, yeah, just high five and leave. I mean, yeah. Also, um, like there was, there was one scene that I still remember, and I'm not sure if it played out the way I remember it, but like, I remember they went to get help from like, I think it was like the governor of like Belarus or something, or like some high up official in yeah. the USSR, and they go in and he's like this slob who has his like feet on the desk, <laughs> and he, and they're like can you help us? And he's like, I don't know what I'm even doing. I used to be a shoe director. I used to make <laughs> shoes. And then... I got two days left on the force, and then I'm done. Well, no, the idea was that they just, like, he was unqualified because he used to just be a regular worker, and then he yeah. became this government official. But it's like, I feel like that's not, <laughs> like, that. We, shouldn't we strive for that, to have regular people in government? Yeah. I feel like he that, that also doesn't... I feel like, you know freaking so, like explaining like a nuclear meltdown to someone that's pretty easy i did a uh, I wrote like a 18 page paper on belarus and apparently like all the or the economy of belarus i i wrote a paper on the economy of belarus this tell me was about uh it. well <laughs> i'll tell you what was funny about it which was that i wrote it in 2022 for my spring semester of my junior year oh no <laughs> and we were picking out countries to do in uh in january to early february yeah. and i like i got to it late and i was like what am i gonna do oh i know about like russia stuff i'll pick belarus and then like you know that's early february and then if you don't if you don't know dear listener uh belarus is uh actually you probably do know because they, they've been in the news way more uh, is very closely tied to russia uh economically um so then i started sort of like a side the, piece of russia yeah <laughs> a side piece yeah they're, yeah, a side hoe. Um, but they, <laughs> then I was like, all right, I'm going to write this paper. Uh, and then the invasion of Ukraine happened. Mm. And Belarus got put on all those sanction lists with Russia because they're very closely tied. Right. And I talked to my professor. I was like, what am I going to do? Because the purpose of the paper was like, all right, you need to like write a, a diagnosis on like, what like your country should do next. It was like, well... The uh, the two directions I can think of are further integration with Russia, which isn't really doing anything, or opening up to the EU, which isn't really possible right <laughs> right now. And he was like, "Oh, well, uh, just pretend that they can open up to the EU." I was <laughs> like, "Okay." <laughs> um, well, I was like, "Well, in any case, if Belarus uh, ever." <laughs> If Belarus uh, gets a new government, which is extremely unlikely, I guess they could. Uh, I guess they could sign some trade agreements for their potassium. Oh, great! I love. Uh, it. I, that's yeah. Great. I yeah. I can finally we, put away all these fucking bananas I'm eating every day. Yeah. Oh my I god. I got to. I got to write that. Uh, I eat fifty of, bananas a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like doing it. I eat it with the peel on and everything. Okay, I have to. <laughs> Just like a monkey. Yeah. I, I only eat I only eat like the shitty proto bananas that are like fifty seeds and then mm. like some banana in between. I wish I could. Um, I only yeah. have this GMO crap. That's why yeah. that's why Belarus potassium is so important to me. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, I'll stop talking about geopolitics. But I did I did get to write a line in the paper that I was proud of where I said that uh, Belarus is number two exporter of potassium and all other countries except Canada have inferior potassium which is a, a borat reference oh that's funny. um 
yeah to the, the the national anthem it's so funny that they were just like that, that they were that kazakhstan just hates that and they, they they should hate that like when you look up kazakhstan national anthem it's just that oh yeah like yeah it really did it's ruin like, like the, an entire the nation- generation's opinion of kazakhstan yeah that's like it's like when you're playing like a grand strategy game it's like how do you give kazakhstan minus 10 reputation uh you know produce borat yeah get you know get sasha when you're baron playing, cohen on the on the horn yeah you yeah you assign sasha baron cohen to a new movie um but um, i we, would just uh, like to say and i mean this yeah. entirely sincerely yeah uh i think the worst part of the russo ukrainian war the worst <laughs> effect is that it ruined your paper it did, yeah. That's what I said. That's why I, I, uh, I, I, I put I put a bunch of pictures of that like stupid weird dog that like fifty year old dads like. I put that all <laughs> over the paper. I said this is my sign of resistance. <laughs> I, I had one version with that, and then I had one version with a bunch of like Z. I replaced every S with a Z. Oh great! Uh, just to cover my bases on if I was mad at Russia or Ukraine. Do you remember the ghost of Kiev? <laughs> Remember yeah, that was a yeah. thing? That was funny. And that's who I dedicated my paper to, yeah. Rest they still haven't, like, f- yeah. He's they still not haven't, dead, like, he just fa- never existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they still haven't, like, fought each other in their airplanes yet, which, like, sucks. They just, like, shoot each other down. Boring. Yeah, boring. I was really excited for that, because I was like, <laughs> dogfighting hasn't existed in, like, you know, years. And if it's not going to be legal with actual dogs, I was at just, least we can I get- was just excited for them to finally bring land wars back, you know? yeah we've had yeah, proxy honest, wars for a long time yeah finally the direct fin- conflict is in vogue finally yeah me and me and all the all the me and all the history channel dads are just cheering for both sides <laughs> you know we're, we're so we're so happy that tanks as are long back. as they're fighting <laughs> I'm on yeah as side. long as we're as long as we're yeah um so Becca suggests that we go on r slash geography, I which hate this I enjoy so much. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it, but I understand why you hate it. <laughs> I like geography. I just don't like this subreddit. Yeah. Well, I, um, I, I think I, I might make a, I might make a slideshow or like a, a video version of this with all the, with all the different maps. Cause this is kind of visual, but if you're listening to this, you can go into uh, the show links channel of, uh, of the most controversial discord. To look at the posts and you can follow along with us because I think we're going to try to go in order. So I'm going to go with the, the first one in, in r slash geography. Uh, I like this map because it's countries with red in their flag versus without. And all the countries with red in their flag are colored blue. And all the countries that don't have red in their flag are colored red. Sort of a <laughs> sort of a dumb decision to make. Yeah, which is just, yeah, just awful. Also, is that even technically geography? It's a flag. I, it's vexillage. No, I think, yeah. They, um, they lo- um, yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. it wrong here. Uh, yeah. It's actually, you should take that to the vexillology subreddit. Yeah. I think vexillology is like a very, like not Reddit is like necessarily de- a derogatory term, but that is like, that is, that's, that's a, that, that, that subreddit, that sort of, I guess, discipline is custom made for Reddit. Oh yeah. It's just, it's just about looking, yeah, looking at flags. And when they like it. redesign, like boring oh, yeah. flags to be like cool they're always yeah. they always end up looking like facebook <laughs> logos yeah um i'm seeing if there are any inaccuracies here but no i think it looks like all of these are um, um, let me check the, this with my mental map <laughs> oh man that was i i thought i thought the meanest was gonna end now that griffin wasn't here but that was the meanest thing you've ever said no i i'm doing it i'm kidding i'm, I'm kidding. myself i'm so okay I'm no i'm kidding you're i'm very, kidding you're I'm a kidding. very nice guy i wanted to I mean, frankly i want to be very nice to you Oh man, what was the thing that Trump said? Trump said like Homer Simpson. I think like no, <laughs> no it wasn't Homer that. Homer Simpson. There it is. That, that's what it was. Um, no, no. Um, I forget what. Uh, oh no, there was a, a Trump post where someone found one uh, where he was just he was criticizing the Pope for uh, waiting at a like at a hotel uh, lo- like in a hotel lobby because it wasn't very Pope like. <laughs> he was like, you shouldn't be waiting in line. You that's that's not a popely thing to do. You didn't say popely, but um, pope yeah, you have an pope esque. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I don't like seeing the pope standing at the checkout counter, Prenzi's front desk of a hotel, in order to pay his bill. It's not pope like. That's from 2013. He's you've so been, cool. You've been, yeah, you've been off Twitter, probably for the best. I um, not consensually. 
Yeah. <laughs> I was banned a, from Twitter yes, by you're banned. Elon Musk himself for saying... Now, for just having a controversial Doctor Who opinion. Yeah. I don't know what the big deal is. Yeah, it was like... Because there was like four months where like nobody was banned at all. And it seemed like that was going to be like the one upside Yeah. of like Elon Musk owning Twitter is like, well, at least like... At least everyone... At least everyone at like the the department that gets ban- that bans you is like you know has left or is just uh, you know catatonic somehow, um, but yeah no they just started banning people again because like apparently Germany was like hey you can't like have Varg on here like we need you to get rid of Varg if you want to keep operating in like the EU it's like oh okay um, which sucks because like Varg spent most of his t- you know who Varg is right yeah. Yeah, Varg spent most of, like most of his time just arguing with like white nationalists and like asking to see their foreskins. Like he wasn't, he wasn't furthering his cause really. He was just like making them all upset at him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit. Um, I mean, I don't think. Look, I admit that I probably deserved to be banned for what I said. Let me just go through what I said for the listeners. Yeah. Uh, Lego Triller Moth at Lego Triller Moth said of the new Doctor Who logo Paw Patrol ass logo that <laughs> yeah. had 83,000 likes which is fair because yes. it does kind of look like Paw Patrol Joshua yeah. uh, Kuypers which it sounds like a slur at Jay Kuypers <laughs> says, oh god yeah it really does Doctor Who is a show for babies five likes oh, and wow. then I said we're gonna kill you dog and then I got to <laughs> <for> that <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Oh man, that really does. It, yeah, no, this looks like a PBS show. Yeah, I feel like I, you're, I feel like I might have to kill you too because. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I forgot that this is the side you're taking. You know what? It 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 looks like. You know what? Oh, okay. I'm looking at it now. Actually, no, it does. Okay, look like, that it does look a little bit like a. PBS. Maybe you know what? I'm gonna be nice to it. That looks like it's from Bioshock. Okay. Yeah, it's a little that's, art deco. That's that's a, that's the nice way to look at it. I think is that mm-hmm. it looks like it's from Bioshock. Um. Yeah, no, but I remember uh, at the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, people were getting into arguments with Varg because they were like, Varg, what are you talking about? What do you mean the Azov battalion is too Jewish? <laughs> like, come on, Varg, these are our guys. And he's like, I won't concede. <laughs> and they kept calling them, like, the Azov battalion. Like, just, oh, my God. <laughs> I know, just just relentless. Um, <laughs> all right, this is the next one. Uh, actually... Uh, I feel like we it's sort of on a similar topic to Varg because this next <laughs> this next post at r slash geography I get why you hate this subreddit now mm-hmm. it's from six months ago and it just says uh, why doesn't Africa have more farms <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay oh there's some text zooming in on random places in America and Africa seems like there just isn't the same level of agriculture even in flat wet areas that that is perfect for it and this pattern is seen throughout the continent except for South Africa and North Africa <laughs> which arguably <laughs> That's that's all of Africa, buddy. Um, th- is there some geographical reason for lack of farms? See, this is this is what I hate about this subreddit. It's what I like to call map brain, which is when yeah. you get your entire knowledge of the world from Google Maps, and you're like, yes. you spend all your time zooming in on random places, and you're <laughs> like, oh, why is this coast in Virginia not the way I imagined it would be in my mind? <laughs> And it's like, bro, yeah. that's not what's interesting about the world. The world is interesting because there are different groups of people who live and experience the world, and nature's beautiful, and cultures are beautiful, and yeah. maybe you should learn about history instead of memorizing the coastline of Florida. Yeah. But these people don't do that. Well, they think yeah. about they think about the world as a bunch of colors, and it's yeah. well, like fit like physical colors on a satellite image, and it's stupid. Okay. Why aren't why aren't we growing corn in the beautiful Serengeti? Why aren't we moving the wildebeest somewhere else? Um, I else? just found out about the about Mount Kilimanjaro. Why <laughs> haven't we leveled this thing already and turned it into yeah. a parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> I I do, yeah. I remember, you know, I sort of had that because I remember uh, when I was like, God, I was like 11 or 12, and I was just like, I was getting really into, yeah, like looking at, you know, maps. I had like, I had like an encyclopedia of maps. Yeah, uh, maps are great. I'm, I like yeah. maps. And I just remember seeing, like, Atlanta and getting, like, very upset because I was like, it's not on a coastline and it isn't along a river. Why is it like this? It shouldn't <laughs> why, be there. It shouldn't be there. Why is it there? Why isn't uh, Why isn't Savannah bigger? See, that's the kind why? of post you would have on this subreddit, though. Yeah. Like, why is it Savannah bigger than Atlanta? 
Yeah. You know what? You know what it is fucked up. Uh, speaking of Virginia, is that Virginia Beach is bigger than Richmond? Yeah, that's that's that is messed up. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's like that's. Although I don't know, maybe that's revenge because a lot of bad stuff has happened in Richmond. I don't like that there's a city called Newport News. It shouldn't be. Plural. That sucks. That's not. Yeah, that's not a city name. That shouldn't be a city name. I don't understand. That, like, isn't like that should be the name of a, the newspaper in the city? Newport. That News. sounds like a train station. Yeah. Like, um. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, it sounds like a, or like yeah, like a, a baseball stadium. Uh, the first uh, the first comment on this is uh, you're not going to find agriculture fields in the middle of nowhere. A lot of fields in quote Africa are seasonal, and a lot of them are not well defined. Um, and then uh, you know yada 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 rainy season. Um, and then the OP says, why not? In America, every possible fertile area oh is farmed. God. Are these areas just not fertile for some reason? This guy, so, this guy would have made a great British colonial official in the 1920s. Yeah. He would have yeah. just been like, what? Hello, we should go into the <laughs> Congo and level the yeah. forest and turn it into corn. He would have been like, he would have been the most unpopular British official because he would have kept like, he like keeps trying to like bring potato farms to like you know like the Serengeti where they're just like trying to hunt elephants to extinction. Yeah, he's like, uh, you can't hunt elephants here. We're <laughs> we need to increase the quotas. Um, <laughs> they're like God, and then they just yeah, then they, then they just shoot him with like Look, an elephant. We've designated rifle. all of Kenya a potato zone. <laughs> if you yeah. want to kill elephants, you gotta go to Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> he's australian <laughs> <laughs> i can't do um, any accents it's okay except They're for bernie fu- sanders <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, the that one is... accent i can do it's it's you you know that bernie should have been president because he's like an easy voice to do and yeah joe biden isn't yeah he, joe, Bi- joe biden's like he's yeah no it just sounds yeah. like you're like it just sounds like you're straining your voice like I'm it just sound... i don't know what i'm talking um, about yeah yeah, Trump too. But Trump was like, I will say, Trump, hard to do voice, but in like a very, I think that's because no one like had the skill for it. But it, it was, it's very, it's very rewarding when you can sort of get it. If you think about it, like the president, the candidate with the more identifiable voice has pretty much always won the election. Yes. No. Exactly. George like Bush ru- versus Al Gore. Right. Yeah. Obama. Everyone can do an Obama voice. Right. John McCain uh, can have a very yeah uh, he doesn't even have a voice anymore <laughs> anymore yeah um yeah uh yeah george w bush um bill clinton bill clinton really easy voice i don't know about hw but I, he was only I, one term i did not have sexual relations with that woman <laughs> okay that's not what bill clinton said I well i'm doing maybe... george w yeah yeah He's you are doing george, george w. w but yeah there you go that's a good george w bush mission accomplished guys we did it <laughs> <laughs> um but hurricane yeah, I don't Katrina, know. Katrina, more like <laughs> Hurricane Tortilla. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what HW is up to. I wonder if he H-W. ever got like, or uh, yeah, I know what he's. I up have a to, soundboard actually. clip about that. <laughs> oh, okay, let's hear it. Um, where is it? Oh my god, this is gonna be so good once I find it. <laughs> Here it is. The forty-first president of the United States, George H. W. Bush, has died. <laughs> so that's what he's been up to. <laughs> Who is that? It's just a newsman. Oh, okay. Um, oh wait, there's a there's a Toronto only uh, geography subreddit. Anyway, but uh, yeah, the maps are people just like explain to this person like, yeah, no, like the the seasons aren't like good for that. Someone said that corruption is the reason. Oh but, my god. <laughs> which uh, no. Again, no. this is like this is one of the things that people with map brain like to do. They like yeah. to fill in like the rest of the world rather than do research they're just like filling in the stereotypes of what they know about that place right so it's like oh africa doesn't have farms it must be because africa's corrupt and that's the only thing i know about africa because i don't actually do research i just look at fucking maps all day yeah i feel it yeah um political oh yeah no it's just uh oh yeah and then the people are just saying like subsidies which is you know true for the u.s yeah we we love subsidizing uh all right, what's the next one? This is, in, uh, oh, this is another one about Africa. Oh, but it's I funny because it's like, it's like not really that. Can you read it? Yeah. 
The most controversial one yet, <laughs> well, technically, no, it's the third most controversial. Yeah. Which African country do you find most interesting culturally and <laughs> geographically? Which I don't think that's controversial. Yeah, I don't think that's controversial. He didn't say which African country is best. <laughs> yeah, or which one do you dislike the most, which would have been... <laughs> oh, yeah. Which one is yeah. worst <laughs> culturally? Yeah. Yeah. South Africa. Yeah. Those in, fucking in those fucking Dutch guys gotta go. We gotta get them out. You know of what here. I learned is that like those farmers, like they aren't even. It's not even that like they have like plantation estates. They're just like shitty, like kind of like also poor people, mm-hmm. but they're just like really resentful. So they murder each other to get insurance money. Yeah. Um, I what I think is kind of fucked up is that it's like, isn't it like the Boers run like eighty percent of the farmland in South Africa, and it's like yeah. And it's like they're the government's trying to make it slightly less unequal, and yeah. then every white guy in America is all of a sudden like, "This is genocide! They're genociding yeah. the white people by stealing the land that we stole from them." <laughs> yeah, it's like the boards aren't even like the like they're they're like the shittier white people compared to like like the British are like. You know, the, the British I, I are the like, best white people. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I was gonna say they're more. Uh, they're like uh, they're like charismatic megafauna, if you know what that term means. <laughs> not at all. Like, uh, Explain. oh, that's like uh, that's uh that's the term used for you know like giant ground sloths and like woolly mammoths. Oh, like, sure, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like animals that we like to think about and are cool. Like, I feel like the British are like more palatable to you know like American audiences, and the Boers are just yeah. like you know like shitty and like you know. In, on their dirt farms. Yeah, the boars uh, are like the fucking like rednecks of South Africa. Yeah, no, British exactly. Are like yeah, the cool British guys of South Africa. Yeah, but it's like, we, yeah, we need, we need to defend the. Yeah, we need to make a culture war issue out of the shittiest. One. That's one of the things that you missed was uh, Elon Musk getting worked up about uh, about the EFF, which uh, EFF is like my my favorite new political party. They're like the they're like the Marxist Leninist. Uh, political party in south africa and it's not because i necessarily subscribe to those views they're like they have like a bunch of uh they're like leaders will like tweet things out like uh like we need to destroy the haters and it's like a picture of them in like a suit or something yeah that's so cool yeah no it's like uh like sometimes the leader of the party will just like uh retweet a woman that he thinks is is hot or something like they're and they're you know they're very popular in south africa see the thing uh, about like marxist leninists (laughs) and like maoists (laughs) Yeah. are that I probably wouldn't want to see them have total control over a country, but they do serve cunt. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, the EFF is they yeah, they have they have great outfits. They have like they have like uh they have berets and polos. Oh, that's yeah. their that's their getup. Yeah, no, they're they're swagged out. Um but yeah, I don't know. Are there any what are what are are there any controversial Africa opinions in here? Um, uh, Ethiopia. Oh no, it's just like they're saying like Ethiopia is cool. Um, you know, they maintain their sovereignty. Um, Madagascar. This is boring. Why is this downvoted? These are all just like <laughs> like most of the people didn't even explain. They just said Egypt, Mali, Togo. Yeah. But okay, yeah. Togo. That's crazy. Togo. That's a crazy yeah. Togo is great. I remember doing a group project my freshman year of high school uh, where we had to make, which I think the intention behind the, I, I might have even said this when you were on an episode, but like the intention behind the, the project was like, you know, make a make a tourism brochure for an African country, which like, you know, good. We're like learning about Africa, making sure to portray it, you know, not just in a negative light, but uh, we, uh, when we were grouped up, um, I think I was put in a group with one person uh, with two people. One of them was from Togo, and uh, mm. they were like, "Do you want to do Togo?" And we're like, "Yeah, sure. You know, it'll be easy." And then the more we learned about Togo, <laughs> like it's just like it's like one of the most impoverished African countries. It's like going through a lot of turmoil. And like the the person in our group was like, "Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was like really hard to come up with something." Aww. <laughs> um, I think I think what we ended up landing on is they have some very beautiful wildlife. We but, had to uh, do that in um. My last semester of college, we had to do a. I it took Spanish, so we had to do that, but in Spanish. And for whatever reason, my group picked Paraguay, which is like oh. the poorest country in South Africa. Um, yeah. But I think we did a good job. Yeah. I we did well. Yeah. So 
That's a brag. Did you, uh, wait, did you have any, like, Bitcoin guys that chose El Salvador? Uh, no, thank God. Really? That's, that's surprising. No, I they don't take that, like, Spanish. They just, they just post <laughs> I guess online. that's They take economics I guess that's true. or whatever. Yeah, eh, fair enough. Um, all right, what's the next one? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like this one. Uh, it just says, uh, it's from 19 Days Ago, it says, Shanghai sits an average of 13 feet, uh, less than one football field above sea level. <laughs> Less than one football field. <laughs> and then it's just, yeah. That's that's a really some, um, weird um, way to, like, measure things. Like, just yeah. using the complete wrong point of reference. Football. Yeah, I, like, football field, like, never made sense to me as a unit of measurement. Like, I sort of get, I sort of get it. But, uh, no, it just, it just, that seems like, uh, just another way to, like, flex how, uh, how American you are. Wait, that, but, like, that's om- no, because sometimes when people say football field... They mean like British football field, like. Do they? I didn't even realize that, but that makes sense. Like that's down here in the first comment. Football field is one sixty feet long, and then, (laughs) and then another guy says, "How much is one hundred and sixty feet in football fields?" (laughs) That's, man, that's an even worse. That's an right because then it's like you don't even know which reference they're trying to say. Is it the one that's half the length of an American football field, or the one that's a full length of an American football field? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, Shanghai, Shanghai <laughs> I do like there. these comments. These are good. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to measure the distance of the moon in tennis courts. Any mm. help appreciated? Yeah. <laughs> I am six foot seven, so it's basically two of me. And if it were oh. a person, it would be very tall. Yeah. Oh, show off. Yeah. Um, uh, someone six, said, seven. oh, someone said, I'll like your post if you generate an accurate map of Shanghai, uh, elevations in football field units. You've got this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, and then someone did, the top comment is anything but the metric system, huh? <laughs> um, oh, I think the person that posted that was also on r slash presidents, which people. Oh my god, I was gonna, to... I was gonna say that we should go on that subreddit too. That's crazy. Yeah, let's go on there. Um, I guess maybe we'll. Because we'll they have it. they have president brain, which is similar to map yeah. brain, except they only think about like the last forty years of American politics and refuse to go yeah. back any further. I, yeah, I think that's cool that your thing is just like presidents, like <laughs> not like not like a, a you know like consi- not even like elections because like elections is one thing like that's like following sports but you're you're just into presidents yeah like that, like that's I mean a thing I, that- look I hate all presidents just uh, morally right but I do think it's funny to follow this subreddit because most of the questions are like. <laughs> Who is the most attractive president? Yeah, no, they're they're surprisingly if you neutral. Met the president, how would they? If you met any president, which one do you think would eat the most food? Yeah, <laughs> like all that shit. Um, I saw, oh wait, one of the most controversial is from three months ago. My tier list is a Japanese bo- uh, man born in the United States, and S tier is George Washington, Lincoln. Um, uh, Theodore Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy, then okay. F tier. I was going to say, why is FDR an F tier? And then I kind of realized <laughs> uh, Truman is also an F tier. Honestly, I feel like, uh, wait, Truman is an F tier. Biden is an F tier. And then Woodrow Wilson is an F tier. Which, uh, like, you know what? I'll give it to him. It's fine. I guess, yeah, no, you know, I guess there are good reasons to put Woodrow Wilson there. But then as D-tier long as Jimmy is, Carter's an S tier, I'm fine with whatever. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's only <laughs> Jimmy Carter's in C tier, and D tier is uh, Bill Clinton and Obama. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, B tier is <laughs> B tier is Nixon, uh, H W, and Eisenhower, which is yeah. Oh yeah, this account has been suspended. Okay. Which I feel like I feel like you only rank Nixon high if you're like if you're like deep into presidents. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Like like because that's like the but, lore of like. <laughs> Does anybody think Nixon actually wasn't that bad of a guy? Yeah, thinking Nixon wasn't that bad is like, yeah, you're you're in real deep. You gotta be a um, pre- you gotta be a real president <laughs> fan to believe I, that. I do I do like that they have a William Henry Harrison as C tier, which is where I would put him, mm-hmm. <laughs> given his uh, his unfortunate predicament. Well, that that reminds me, I made one of these ones. I gotta find it. Oh really? Yeah. Um, a lot of the controversial ones are uh, are tier lists. Um. One of them is just a picture of Joe Biden and says, is this guy doing a good job? <laughs> um, let me, uh, let me, let me share that. Let me see if there's, uh, if there's anything. Oh, I also wanted to, uh, I also wanted to look at, so, Becca, do you, uh, do you know who the Melanie Mac guys are? Were you ever aware of those? Um, I've heard of them. I don't know. I don't, you have to explain. They're, um, okay. So, um, 
Oh yeah, there's. A, I'll, I'll explain after I look through these uh, these controversial comments, uh, which honestly might not be that that interesting. Uh, he's doing a terrible job. The economy is pathetic. The economy is but uh, Trump is writing this. Um, the economy, uh, frankly, is not very good. It's pathetic. Um, <laughs> fuck. What was the the thing that Trump said? Um, some of the Saul Goodman profile picture just says "fuck no." Joe Biden posted <laughs> cringe. Oh, Joe Biden posted grin. He's, He's going posted. to lose subscriber. I forgot that Trump invented we do a little trolling. We do That's a little insane. trolling. That's insane. Oh, um, I found them, I found my tier list of presidents. Oh, okay. Is it okay. just all F tier? Uh, let me allow me to let me just let me lay this on you. Let me hit you with a slice of this. Uh, at <laughs> wait, wait, the top, wait, wait. I, yeah. Okay. Oh no! I just I just like this uh, this comment from White Chocolatey that says he's spending too much money, but at least he's spending uh, it on some of the right things, which is a a deficit hawk position I have not heard before. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's which, weird when people again. This is president yeah. brain of like becoming so politically savvy that you almost like stop thinking about why politics actually matter. It's like there's there's like, surprisingly who neutral shit about the deficit. Like uh, if, yeah. it's, if the point of it is to help people. Yeah. Why do you give a shit about? It? I don't know. I, I I appreciate anyone that has a position that uh, just doesn't make them any friends. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like but uh, you're tier list. Uh, at the yeah. top, we have William Henry Harrison in his own tier. Yep. Uh, then we have actually good, and I put Lincoln, FDR, and Carter. Which I don't know. I don't know if I would say that FDR and Carter were actually good, but Lincoln was good. We have to admit that. Yeah. Okay, is Ulysses S. Grant. Um, Taft and JFK. Yeah, Taft is Taft is the most. Uh, he's like the he's the the most uh, like uh, damned damned president. Just yeah. for like everyone know because he was he was like the the chief justice of the Supreme Court. No president yeah. has ever has ever gone you know been president and been on the Supreme Court. And everyone's just like, guess who got stuck in a bath? Exactly. Everybody fat only ass. remembers that he's fat. Yeah, and that uh, and that he came after the, the the other fat guy that we like a lot more. Yeah, and also that in 1912 he lost uh, an election really badly to that guy. He yeah. won only the state of Utah, I think, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, who else? And then in not great, I have Washington, uh, Monroe, John Quincy oh, yeah. Adams, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. Uh, Roosevelt, Coolidge, LBJ, Ford, Obama, and Biden. <laughs> and then everybody okay. else I put in bad. Oh, no. Yeah. And then I have bad but freakishly attractive. <laughs> um, and I put Franklin Pierce and Richard Nixon in that one. Okay. Um, and then terrible. And then in the Satan category, which are my least favorite presidents ever, I put Andrew Jackson. Okay. Um, James Buchanan. Yeah, Andrew sl- Johnson. Pick. Yep. Ronald Reagan. Uh huh. Uh, George W. Bush and Trump. Okay. Yeah. I think those are good picks. I think I think it's a fair it's a fair list. Yeah. Um. I'm seeing if there are any. I like, think they all deserve here. to die, in like yeah. terrible ways. Except maybe Jimmy yeah. Carter because he's already dying. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do much on that. Yeah, and he's uh, kind of been dying for like forty <laughs> years, so it's okay. Yeah, I, I I really appreciate how many people in this subreddit are like just neutral because like I feel like I feel and they're not like they don't seem like they're performatively neutral like the people you know like someone that would be on like yeah, yeah, yeah. cable news it's like I'm you know I'm half and half on Biden which means like you know I want him to like cut taxes but like I'm okay with gay people but it's people saying like last guy was an F Biden is a C plus or B minus. Right, yeah, like uh, it does feel like they don't look at it necessarily through <laughs> the party. They're just like, yeah. did was this guy? Did this guy give good speeches? And did he yeah. visit my favorite countries? Yeah, <laughs> like they have really weird like uh, qualifications for liking the presidents. Yeah, um, someone. Uh, so this is unironically the best president of my lifetime, and I'm a conservative who was born in 1990. What? Well, That's, wait, Joe Biden. I, yeah. I mean, think about it. There aren't that many presidents that have been around. Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe I'm trying to yeah. think about the best president of my lifetime, and it probably is Biden, right? Yeah. Because, like, I was born in 2001, so 
it was Bush, Obama, Trump, and Biden. And out yeah. of those four, I think he's the best. I was uh, I was born just after the 2000 election. I was I, I got the I got the tail end. Okay, of, so you of did Clinton. have Clint. You had, you had Clint. Yeah, yeah. Although I wouldn't I wouldn't rank him very highly. Right. Um, I guess he did have sexual the, relations with that woman. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, but the Melanie Mac guys. That that was. Oh, yeah. Those were some of the other things. I, so there. Um. I'm sure the people. Some of the people listening to this probably know already. But uh, these uh, there's this this female streamer named uh, you know, named Melanie Mac, and uh, she basically. She made a, I guess, heel turn uh, to her, to her fans, a face turn. But uh, she was like just a standard like gamer girl for a while, um, you know, like streamer. She was, uh, you know, yeah, whatever. Um, classic. Uh, yeah, classic. Uh, apolitical. That's what I was looking for. Um, Pokemon. But then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Recently, she uh, like the she streamer decided- Pokemon. Yes, yeah, yeah, but okay. Pokemon the streamer. Yeah, um, but recently she decided to become a uh, conservative. She decided to become based, oh. and uh, it attracted a lot of new fans. And uh, she just does things, you know. She's basically like one of the, like she's just a, yeah she's just a streamer, and she'll like react to like a video where it's like uh, gender sicko uh, is in the bathroom again, and she's like I can't believe this gender sicko is in the bathroom again. Oh um, no, not gender sicko. <laughs> but, yeah. And then she got also, this guy out of the bathroom. Yeah, god damn it. Um, but then she also she's also gotten on the uh, the the carnivore diet tip, which uh, I assume yeah you can sort of guess what that is um, oh, if you don't yeah. know already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, where you, it's where you only eat meat. Honestly, uh, but she's all also, the people who have insane diets like that are fucking insane. Like yeah, like there's that one influencer who had an all fruit diet and she died recently. Oh yeah, and it's like, Jesus. It's like, why would you do that? Let alone like push it onto other people. You know, it's just yeah. so um, well, so irresponsible, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's like, and I yeah, all meat all meat diet is like part of it's like almost respectable. Or it's like I respect part of it and I just like despise part of it because the some of the guys that do because like the way that you could do that on like as like a normal person would be like, oh yeah, I like eating raw steak. Like that's that's your thing is you eat raw steak and that's like, you know, a good th- like that tastes good. Um, but some of them will just eat like <laughs> the raw meat guys will just eat like will just eat like raw ground beef and then some of the carnivore diet guys who aren't uh, who don't do raw meat will still just eat piles of ground beef that th- that they cook. <laughs> like, um, but. Yeah, oh yeah, and then Melanie Mac's other thing is butter, which she hospitalized herself from just eating raw too many times. Okay, I did hear about that. That was yeah. crazy. Um, but I went on I went on the Discord server for the, the oh Melanie Mac Discord server. Oh my god, I'm looking at these server. pictures, making me <laughs> sick. Oh my god. They, they had a food they have a food channel. Oh, <laughs> one no, of the man. I'm sorry, Becca. No, keep one going. of the po- one of the posts, uh this is from October thirtieth, twenty twenty two. And it says having uh nine hundred and fifteen grams of regular ground beef with bullseye <laughs> bold original barbecue sauce for supper. Oh, god, I didn't no. supper is like that's like that's uh that's such a that's such a beautiful detail to add on. Mm-hmm. That's that's only something an auteur would add. And would you believe it is a giant pile of ground beef uh, and a spoon? <laughs> it legitimately looks like um, like one of those like like in animation when they show like a junkyard and all the garbage is piled up in a big <laughs> yeah. pile. Yeah, this is what yeah this is what they're eating. This is what one of the background characters is eating that they didn't animate, <laughs> really. Um, which like it's so insane because it's like. I guess they don't like carbs, because like normally I would see this and it's like I guess just uh, like just have a burger or something like just to not subject yourself to a pile of ground beef. <laughs> but like I guess they like it. I guess they e- like eating that like it's like it's oatmeal. I just don't like get like how like don't their bodies feel bad? <laughs> like don't, I don't they feel I like mean, shit? I mean like. The human body can, like, eat... It's, like... You know, I think they probably do feel bad, but they don't realize it. They're probably, like, coming off, like, something else that's, like, shitty. Like, if you were... 
if you were like having like a you know like a very like you know like a health food diet and you just started eating like piles of ground beef like you'd feel like shit but i guess oh god you know what i i said like maybe it could be a placebo but you know you're right like i don't know how they could do this like i would <laughs> like i <laughs> Jesus, man. Another one from the same guy. Having two fried eggs, four strips of bacon, and then some salted grass-fed, gr some salted grass-fed uh, thornlow butter for a very late supper. Oh, I'm glad he's getting some greens in there. Oh, God. Like grass-fed oh, no, butter. Yeah, grass-fed, but exactly. And then uh, you see the... <laughs> the, the... Some of the pictures are just, like, kind of out of focus, which adds to sort of, like, the horror element of it. Uh, you can see the bacon. The bacon does not look cooked at all, which, like, uh... Yeah, it's like, it's like dear orange. God. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that's the egg. The bacon there, the bacon is, like, pretty, like, it's very pink and, like, uh, white almost, which just, like, it looks indicates... Like, it looks like that AI image from 2019 that's, like, name one thing in this photo. <laughs> name one thing in this photo. Yes, exactly. And then two sticks of butter, which, like... Oh my god! And they, generously they dipped the butter in the eggs. Oh god! Oh, you're right. Oh my god! Uh, this looks this like yellow like, on yellow. Oh my god! Yeah, it looks like bile. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it does. Uh, another user in food pigs this is a different one. Durple uh, just posted oh, a picture of a god. stick of butter with a bite taken out of it. Oh no! <laughs> the only way that could have possibly been worse is if they forgot to take off the wrapping paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah no that's like that's like something that i rem <laughs> that's like something i did once when i was five and then realized immediately why i shouldn't do it <laughs> i don't even think i needed to do that i think i understood instinctually In is that a yeah. word instinctively instinctively yeah instinctively oh my... that that was an evil thing to do that god would punish me for it <laughs> Yeah, that was that was wrong. This person deserves uh, to burn in hell for that <laughs> yeah. alone. They're they're down there with the president. He's like he's like like this guy is like begging Satan. He's like you've I've been burning in hellfire for a trillion years. Let me go. And then Satan <laughs> just holds up that image, and everybody in the room, all the all the other devils are just like, yep, yep, yeah, no, yeah. that's a Sorry. absolutely you you deserve it, man. Um, here's a, okay, so this is, we might, I might be going into Discord more because Discord has added a feature that basically functions like Reddit posts, um, or like yeah. forum posts. Uh, you don't really upvote them, but you re react to them. Uh, I sent one of them, uh, Becca, can you read the, it's, uh, the anonymous, it's from anonymous is applying for social security. Okay. Becca, can you read, uh, this is a prayer request. Uh, Becca, can you read what Spider Dan says? And yeah, I'll read, yeah. uh, Andrew, Andrew R15, who is like, uh. He's like the he's the the guy in the Melanie Matt guy community. He's okay. everyone knows Andrew, but I'll read his part. Okay. Spider Dan says anonymous told me, so my appeal for social security finally has a hearing date in October. So prayers for that, especially that I get back on it. This is from Andrew R. Not going to lie. Not really the biggest fan of social security because it's government paid and so it's government controlled. But I understand if the person in question doesn't have any other choice. So I'll pray about that. Dear Heavenly Father, which dear is spelled D-E-E-R. <laughs> so dear Heavenly Father, like a a forest deity, I pray for provision. I pray for provision for anonymous here. And I pray that this person is able to get what... <laughs> is able to get what they need in order to cover for their bills. I also pray that social security isn't a permanent option for this person and that they are able to find a good job opportunity to help them get off their feet and are able to provide for themselves. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Which, oh my god, that man. That is so bleak. Yeah, that's like, you're so good at being, like, just irredeemable. Like... That's that's impressive how irredeemable you are with that one. Yeah, it's like praying like I hope you get your I hope you pull yourself up by your bootstraps. I hope you stop being a piece of shit. Um <laughs> Oh my god, I just saw it. <laughs> I just I was scrolling through it and I just saw another oh I saw god, another I like, picture. I like the I like OG Lamb Killers one, that picture. Oh, um uh, do you, uh, oh yeah, do you, how about, uh, I'll read this one, and do you want to read for Andrew? Yeah, or, yeah, uh, I'd love to do, I'd love to. Okay, this is from Spider Dan again. OG Lamb, uh, OG Lamb Killer's knee is really hurting him. 
OG Lamb Killer 2022 said, Everyone, please pray for my knee tonight. It's really hurting for some odd reason today. Thank you and good night, everyone. Andrew, and Andrew R15 says, I believe he said his knee has been hurting for a while now. Maybe he should take a visit to the doctor if he hasn't already. I'll pray <laughs> for him now. Dear Lord, I pray for OG Lamb Killer 2022 for you to heal his knee and for his pain to stop bothering him anymore. Let him be rid of his pain so that he can return to everyday life. I think there was more to it. Oh wait, and then um I wanted to read I wanted to read one more. Okay, this is one that uh <laughs> this is one that I really wanted to read from Andrew. Um this sucks cuz I'm like looking through the Discord and then um and then I have to send it back to our Discord. But uh here, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this one from Andrew. I posted it on Twitter, but uh, all right, this is from Andrew, and this is this isn't a prayer request. It's just a regular post. It says, oh my God. "Dating is probably a lot harder for me now." Okay, and oh yeah, if you don't know about Andrew, so Andrew has a thing where he loves bringing guns places. He loves bringing his guns into Planet Fitness and the grocery store, mm. <laughs> um, and that's a real problem for him because he got kicked out of Planet Fitness yeah, <laughs> for I bringing mean... a gun in. <laughs> Yeah. And uh he does things like post uh post about how uh he uh <laughs> he'll post like uh if you see a child crying with its mother, there's a nine out of ten chance that it is it is okay and that child is just, you know, being you know, just crying. But there is a one out of ten chance that that child is being abducted, and that oh is not a God. chance I want to take. I approach these mothers and let them know that I have a firearm. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, it's like this is the what? average Republican voter now. This is I who know, they're appealing yeah. to. Yeah, um, I just realized something. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to date someone. It's not because I've given up or think it's based upon how, how I look, but this psycho named Kevin will do whatever it takes to ruin my life. Not only he's constantly harassing me, impersonating me, and infiltrating the server, but he went completely out of his way to contact my parents about what I'm doing and the mistakes I've done in the past. If I work up the confidence to flirt with someone and start dating, that psycho will probably try to contact her as well. Not only the same thing... And not only say the same thing to my dad... Ab say the same thing to my dad to her but also bring up my political disagreements I have on social media. I don't think I'll be able to meet any girl who's brave enough to deal with that kind of harassment. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I'll be oh able to man. find any girl that's brave enough to deal with that kind of harassment. Um, these, these, <laughs> these, these poor kings, these, these, <laughs> these men left behind by capitalism. <laughs> Jesus, man! I can't. I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm gonna kill I'm myself. So, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's Andrew R15's fault. Uh, do you want to talk about how I have infinite knowledge on geography? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to read that one off? Sure. Um, it's kind of short. Okay, let me find it. Sorry. Oh God, I gotta scroll back. Okay, I have infinite knowledge in geography. Posted by LWI314. Seriously, ask me any question and I'll do my best to answer it. I'm done with my exams and I'm bored, so try me. <laughs> um, and then people are saying, uh, oh yeah. Here, ask me, he ask me one of these questions and I'll try to answer. Okay, um, let me think of a, a question. Um, well, I mean, there what? are qu questions in the comments, but yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I see what you mean. Um, uh, there's some with uh, a lot of people are just posing a lot of one. What's the steepest gradient in annual rainfall across the shortest distance? What the fuck? I don't know. Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> then a lead says not OP, but I feel like that's either somewhere in the Andes or the Southern Himalaya. Oh, just okay. the one Himalaya. Just one of them. Um, <laughs> well, I like this one. Uh, Dave, David, <laughs> David Reddit seven says, when you walk in a straight line from the west to the east coast of the Eurasian continent across the forty fifth latitude, which obstacles, mountain uh, lakes, rivers, deserts would you come across? Okay, the OP that's says, an insane question to ask. Yeah, like okay, um, then, if you okay, sorry, this goes back to the map brain thing. Who would know? Like, what purpose does knowing that serve aside from? Okay, not even aside from anything. What what purpose does knowing that serve? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't mean anything. Um, I think being the GeoGuessr guy and then nothing else. Honestly, that I kind of, that's kind of why I don't hate GeoGuessr. It's a fun game, but like yeah. people who get really into GeoGuessr, I can't help but be like, 
why? I, I, because the I can't only because the the skills that you learn getting good at GeoGuessr, you can't really apply to any anything else unless you're like kidnapped um, suddenly and you need to figure out. No, where unless you are. you're unless you're the GeoGuessr guy. Yeah, unless you're the, the guy that's guy. the guy that's really good at GeoGuessr, and then it's like there isn't a second place for Rainbolt. Him. Yeah, rain, Yeah, you, you can't like. Um, yeah, there, there. It's not like you're gonna have like a whole industry. It's not gonna be like, oh, I'm like him, but shittier. Well, there's so, like, Geo no, Wizard. He's a British version, and he's fun. Oh, really? Nice okay. Guy. Well, then, yeah. Well, then, there's two things that you can't fulfill. <laughs> maybe if you also learn Chinese, um, then maybe you can be like the Chinese Geo Guesser guy. But uh, um, what uh, what island? Formerly known as Izu, is the homeland to the indigenous Ainu. Oh, I know Hokkaido. that one. That, that's I. That's Hokkaido. That's yeah. on God. We got that. That's one. on God. Um, we would get two at one? least two hundred points if this was Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever? Did you ever do uh, something called the Geography B? Yeah, I did I, in middle school. Yeah, I did that too. I remember. I remember advancing, knowing mm-hmm. what Baffin Island is. Me too. I I advanced. But then I mixed up east and west in one of the first questions when I got out. <laughs> it was like, what? Which state is west of the Mississippi River or something? And I said which, Colorado. Or yeah, which state is east? And I said Colorado. <laughs> See, I'm still doing uh, it even now. Yeah. Um, which major U.S. cities have the uh, do the following indigenous names align with? Uh, Yanga, uh, Shakamaxon, Yanaguana, and Kuxun. I feel like yeah. I'm sorry to whichever. I understand why you're no longer known as the city of Kuxun. Um, what are all the con- uh, currently inhabited settlements on Svalbard? I think it's literally just called Svalbard. No, isn't it Long Year BN, which means Long Year City? Maybe that makes sense. I is, um, yeah, I just remember thinking that's a cool ass name for a city. Yeah, I I went to Norway with my family because because uh, we have extended family there. My mom. Oh my god, my mom. Really? I have like. I have like a third cousin that lives there or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, my uh, and my mom really wanted to go to Svalbard. <laughs> my dad had to explain to her why we shouldn't go to Svalbard. Oh my god, I I want to go back there so bad. I think it'd be so I mean, cool. I think I do too, but I do not want to go with like my family to Svalbard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they. My, <laughs> that sounds, my parents that sounds would hate that. If if they yeah. don't go to like a beach, they their minds would short yeah. out. I think they would explode. Yeah. Ugh. Um. But what's the, uh, oh, I also, I, f- I have some other, I have some other, uh, posts. I found some posts in r slash carnivore, uh, which it is, is not, it's not gross pictures. I don't want to subject you to more of this. No, no, no. I, I, feel- I think the pictures are, um, necessary, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, I must yeah, it's see a, them. It's a, yeah. It's a, it's a necessary evil to, uh, to know what these are. Um, I just sent one. And then I think the, uh. What was the final? Oh, the final <laughs> one in geography I found was just uh, was just uh, countries that that have declared war on France in the past. Which uh, <laughs> I'm like looking at these, and I th- or no, and then it says countries that have fought France, and I can like look at this and know that this isn't accurate. Because, yeah, <laughs> because like a lot of these countries were part of like other empires that fought France. Yeah, like, like Scotland. Wales. Yeah, Wales Scotland has definitely, has definitely fought, fought France. Fran- yeah, <laughs> uh, I know Iraq. You know, Iraq and Afghanistan fought France. Uh, in World War Two, at separate times, but I, yeah, I like how arbitrary this it's is. Like this person just made the list from memory, and it's also like, and then, um, and then also, uh, North Macedonia is uh, just a different shade, a special <laughs> shade, no doubt, of of almost fighting France, I guess. Yeah, Cyprus too. Yeah, Cyprus too. Which, <laughs> wow, I didn't know they dropped a new Cyprus. It's crazy. Yeah, Cyprus. Well, I think they do have two Cypresses. Yeah, Cyprus. Turkey was like. Cypress one is getting old. We gotta drop a second yeah. one. Gotta yeah. get a sequel in there. Yeah, yeah, pull, yeah. Dropping, yeah, like this, uh, like a cipher. A cipher. Anyway, <laughs> it's um, a remix. A remix, yeah. Re- Cypress remix. Um, do you want to read this one from r slash carnivore? Yeah. Wounds not healing. <laughs> this is such a funny title. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is by u slash large brown duck. Been on carnivore for a month now. Got some small cuts on my hand that are not healing. Am not counting calories, but probably in a deficit. Athlete which are with around 10 workouts a week. Beat diet is mostly beef, eggs, and cheese with alcohol once a week. 
Is it the deficit, or could it be vitamins and minerals? Oh, man. you. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to need to bring Rasputin in for you, dog. <laughs> We're going to... Jesus. We're... You're going to bring down the whole Russian Empire. Oh, man. Um, and then the so top it's... comment is, odd. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you eating? It's like, no, man. I think it's because of the carnivore diet. Yeah, I think uh, I think you need to eat normally. I'm I'm think, more curious about his workout schedule. Ten workouts yeah. a week. Like, what days do you do two workouts? Yeah, and what are those workouts? Yeah, exactly. Like, like what's the point of doing two workouts a day? I don't even do yeah. one workout a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it's like I mean, I guess like running and then like lifting on like the same day or something, but like. Yeah, that's that's insane. I, I do like think it's funny like, how like me, I, I like somebody who just stays inside a lot and doesn't get enough exercise, I'm probably healthier than this guy is because yeah, he's doing the fucking carnivore diet. Your wounds can heal. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a big flex. I, um, I also like. Do. I also like that his thing is like, what if I eat more meat? <laughs> what if I eat more beef, eggs, and cheese? Which like, wait, wait, I didn't even notice that. Like eggs and cheese. I'm sorry, cheese is not, like, if you're going to commit to this, don't don't have cheese. Like, at that point, just, like, eat some, like, bread or something. <laughs> like, just make it, a, make it a breakfast sandwich. He's just like, I'm going to eat only the most unhealthy foods. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the I, carnivore diet as long as it's unhealthy. Yeah, I, I, have, I have my raw steak and then I have my fondue. <laughs> um, uh, um, what I've, I've only eaten ice cream for the last three months. Uh, yeah. Why, am, why is my skin turning blue? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I've grown tall and skinny like a Navi from Avatar. Yeah, I could am becoming be a... Could this be because of I'm not getting enough calories? I am becoming the Wendigo. <laughs> um, do I need to eat more... Do I need to eat more human flesh to stop being the Wendigo? <laughs> um, someone says, uh, some wounds take a long time anyway. Could be nothing to do with your diet, which, like... I'm trying the chupacabra diet where I only eat live goats. Yeah. Um, is it? I'm, but I also am fainting seven times a day. Could this yeah. be because I'm not eating enough goat blood, or is it because I'm not eating enough goat brain? Because I've heard that you have to get a good amount of both to stay healthy. I forgot about the the number one image on the Melanie Max server. This is the most indecipherable horrifying like I would just like to uh see it. yes no i think well i think you want to see it and i'm going to show it to you i don't know if you would like to see it i would but like you're going you're going to well let d d hold your horses um do you want to try to describe what this is mm -hmm. um okay i don't like Look to up, see it yeah yeah this is um can i, can I what, try describing it yes you can try describing it god knows i've tried okay it looks like um, almost like a lasagna or like a layer cake. And yeah, lasagna is the closest thing I would say. Okay. At the top Just we going, have... Just going off shape. Okay. At the top we have flowers and some sort of green, like, what are those, like beans or something? Um, like green beans? No, those look like, those almost look like chopped peppers. Maybe, or like capers or something. Maybe it's capers, yeah. And then below the flowers we have a layer of strawberries. Yes. Then there's a layer of ground beef. Okay. Already yep. a little bit sick. And yep. then there's, what is that, butter? That looks like it might be, I'm going to be nice and say that that's cream cheese. Okay. And then. I'm going to, yeah. And then there's another layer of what's either watermelon or salmon. Yeah. That could really be either. It looks more like watermelon. Yeah. And then um, but another layer... you know what the the cut looks like it could even be salmon yeah <laughs> and then another layer of cheese and then an, another layer of ground beef yeah I again I don't know those look like I, I don't know my flowers but those are like flowers from like a garden like yeah. those are like uh like those are not th those aren't things that like could conceivably like you know you find it like some exotic those restaurant are like, like lavenders or something like yeah regular no, ass yeah. flowers you'd find yeah like the they're, they're sort of like bell shaped um yeah oh my could god be and a it's a uh, flower yeah and the person provided no context to what this was 
They didn't. They what didn't would you, say. What would you call this food item if you had to come up with a name? I for would. It? I would classify it as a lasagna or possibly a cake. Maybe a trifle. Maybe. No, but like, what I would think... you call the recipe? Like, I think um, I would call it the strawberry surprise. <laughs> yeah, they definitely it's a surprise if you're lo- a bird's eye view. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, I would say <laughs> the sweet say, and savory, yeah. succulent. Uh, the, I would call it the cons- the consequences of Melanie Max actions. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Now I'm like. Oh, I would call it a hell of my own creation. <laughs> yeah. I would. I would. I would just call it. I would call it like. Yeah. I would call it heart failure. Maybe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone put like. Oh god. You know those like those things. It's like uh like fucking uh like airhead strips. Uh, not really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna send a picture of what uh, of what someone put those on top of. Okay. Um, I'm trying it's, to think it's... about what sauce you could add to this trifle thingy to make it taste even worse. Maybe like yeah. Thousand Island dressing or something. Yeah. Because you know what? There's like. There's some things that like I will I will entertain being like like okay those maybe taste like okay like uh like what is it like people are like oh you got to put a slice of american cheese on your apple pie it's like that sounds gross but like I get how yeah, it could there, work. Yeah, there are some, like, you know, sometimes sweet and savory mixes together well, you know. This yeah, is not one of those. No, there not is, at all. It's like... And I don't even such... know what the flowers add to it. That, those are just yeah. actual flowers. Yeah, and they, they aren't like... The, the flowers, by the way, aren't, like, decorate. It's not like... It's not like they're arranged to make it decorative. It looks like they tore the flowers in half and just, like, sprinkled it on, like, coconut also, shavings. Isn't it, like a, isn't it it's supposed to be, like, a carnivore diet type thing? Why do they have flowers mm, that they're eating? Maybe... And strawberries. Um, Maybe it's okay. like... Okay. I, and then this, this is, new image you share with me is <laughs> evil also. It's, they wrap it's, it around pickles? Yeah, blue raspberry sour gummy strips. Okay, I'm gonna... I need to look up this user, the person that posted... Uh, this one isn't as weird, actually, because I've seen it, sweet pickles before. Yeah, this is only two things. Okay. But it the is weird is, that, like, they... Del- they built it themselves they diy'd it you know yeah okay this this is the user genius gamer r whose discord tag is geets38 uh geets3836 i'm like i need to find what else they've posted um they i can't find anything else in there okay wait do i need to search like the user i'm like i'm doing i need to i need to know okay um okay from user uh, Geats, uh, 3836. Okay. Let's see what else they're talking about. Um, okay, they post a lot. Um, thank God. I, er, it was gonna be like, oh wait, they posted another food pick. What is it? Oh wait, the other food pick, okay, this is like even more evil. This is like, this is sort of like the banality of evil, is because they posted another pick where they're at like a nice French restaurant and they have like a steak. That is this the finality like, of evil, yeah. Like, really, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, I didn't have to do this. This is when I have desperation. I can treat myself. I can get I a steak. I have the money. I can. I have the money. But I still I'm will gonna... taunt you with what I've created and unleashed yeah. onto the world. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like... Uh... You know, I don't, I don't believe in... I'm not... I was raised Jewish, and I don't really believe yeah. in any one religion, but... <laughs> Like, if I had to believe in the existence of, like, ontologically evil devils sent to yeah. Earth to taunt the good and and believing, you know, to yeah. lead them astray, I think this Discord server is filled to yeah. the brim with them. Positively um, oh, uh, packed in. Yes. Okay, this person, this person comments a lot. Um, it looks like they're really into anime. Uh, would you be surprised? I, I need to find Honestly, if a they're bit. in. I would be a little surprised. Yeah. Um. I need to find if they're in like the food chat because there's a food picture chat and a food recipes chat. Um. And I need to. <laughs> and I want to know the, their recipes actually. Yeah, I want to know the recipe to this too. I'm genuinely curious. Um. Uh. Oh, they they do not like Bethesda. Um. What are uh? Wait. Okay. What are they saying? Um. What are okay? Are they saying? Uh, oh, okay. They're 
they say Bug Thesda is my top 10 worst company, and then their other worst uh, video game companies are Activision, EA, Game Freak, and Naughty Dog. I like that Game Freak is on there, because they're just the people that make Pokemon. Like, I, I, <laughs> I get not liking Pokemon, but I don't know if I've ever met anyone that, like, really hates the practices of the Pokemon company. Well, I think uh, that's become more common recently, because I do see a lot of people who are like, the Pokemon games have gone downhill recently, and I'm like... Yeah, some people say that. I don't I've know. Never, I liked... The, I, yeah, you, never you don't have to know. Them. I liked the new one. The new one was better than the last one. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly... Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the most offensive thing this person said. They have 13 pages of results. I'm not stopping until I... Until I know. Um... This is, I gotta say, uh, gotta say it's pretty stupid to accuse, uh, International to be the R word for not watching. Oh, so someone, someone was calling another person the R word for not watching, uh, for not watching Saw. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, okay. They're in food. Okay. What are they saying about croissants? Okay. Uh, is it normal? Okay. They're just saying like how you heat up a croissant. This person is like, uh, 180 degrees too much or okay. Um, oh okay, wait, they said, got an issue, using air fryer on croissant. 180, <laughs> 180 degrees is too much or okay. Why are you air frying a croissant? I guess maybe that's the only, like, oven you have. All right, we gotta like, stop this. I can't, I can't, this is, I've reached my limit, okay? Yeah. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that. You're not even sending me the images anymore. I, I, just I know, I'm just reading it second hand. <laughs> I'm researching. I'm gonna read one of the carnivore ones. I'm sorry. I'm I'm using this as I'm. I, this is my. This is this is, a I'm, therapy I'm, session for you? Yeah, this is my therapy session. All right. Any any carnivores here that eat bugs? <laughs> I don't care if anyone here uses it as a main food source. Wait, this is like I this might, is like fucking horseshoe theory, you know? Because like, yeah, yeah, there are libertarians yeah. who are like, I'm not. They're they're not gonna make me eat the bugs, and yeah. then. Eventually, you become so libertarian that you're like, I'm going to actually eat the bugs I found outside my house because yeah. <laughs> it's not in a supermarket and it's all yeah, natural. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know it's common in Asia, but not sure if anywhere else. Just kind of curious. The top comment is no. <laughs> I love eating bugs. <laughs> um, yeah. Why would you eat bugs when you can eat beef? I'm... Th- then someone brightly points out our ancestor would have been eating bugs before they ate something like beef. So it says maybe yours, not mine. Shut up. Your ancestors were eating bugs. Your ancestors were eating bread that was so infested with weevils that it was 50% bugs. Um, I do like that someone said I'd rather eat plants. Um, anyway, what? Uh, let me see if... Uh, how long have we been going? We've been going a bit. I don't know. If, I think that, that might be it for... Or I think we're we're at about an hour. Um, unless you, or let me see what I. You're you're like the only guest that lets me run long with these. Gus Gus and Griffin are always talking about like, oh, I have a job. Um, yeah, unlike unless me, you want to. Yeah, absolutely destitute. Yeah, unless you're done, you can be. No, can I'm be good. Done. I'm I'm ready. Okay. Um, do you wanna? Um, there's one more in uh, Carnivore. Uh, this this is someone saying that you don't need salt on your food, which okay. is uh, yeah, they're um, like a they're like they're like a Mansa Musa truther. I mean, I guess <laughs> like if you think about it, it might make it slightly less deadly for them because at least they're not yeah. dehydrating themselves. This but is, it would uh, yeah. taste even worse. <laughs> yeah, this is like uh, like how how Mansa Musa became like the richest man in the world by doing like the the salt trade. Yeah, yeah, across, yeah. Like the the you know the saharan desert that's Honestly, like i don't know why they love that guy that i don't know why yeah. they needed it to get it from him they should have just got went to the damn supermarket am i right yeah am i right ladies? yeah he was he was like the original like klaus schwab uh like wef they were like i'm not oh, gonna oh. eat the, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have the salt <laughs> i'm not gonna have the, the salt man they're Samusa. not gonna i'm, I'm gonna, not gonna let make them eat the salt <laughs> I'm going to eat my rotten food. It has maggots in it, which are healthy. I love eating turnips raw yeah. out of the ground. And I also yeah. love sucking off my liege lord's dick when he asks me to. Yeah. This is insane, uh, this first paragraph. It's like, even beyond... I thought it was going to be someone saying, like, you don't need to, like, meat doesn't need to be salted. It will always be good. But no, this is the, the first paragraph. Uh, the host is called, You Need Salt, a friendly counterpoint, why that's wrong and maybe even dangerous. Source... 
fourth year med student eating carnivore diet of only 80 20 ground beef patties with literally nothing else entering my mouth other than water and air and i live three to four times a week and bike commute one hour every day on a very hilly route with absolutely zero electrolyte based symptoms trust me uh i'm forced to know <laughs> every 510 list of symptoms and uh, of every hyper hyper and hypo list of all the electrolytes Anyway, I feel like it's time to end this you need salt statement because I see it everywhere. It gets upvoted like God himself wrote it. You do not need any of the added electrolytes from table salt. <laughs> Give them to multiple 10-year carnivores who don't add salt to anything. A saying you need salt is literally no different than a quote nutritionist advocating a balanced diet saying you need carbs. <laughs> now, please, it just goes on and on and on. This is, now, wait, please, this is actually a good lesson for me to learn because sometimes i'll like distrust myself when i hear somebody online sound like they know what they're talking about you yes know? exactly but then hearing these people act like experts on the human body and then say also it's okay to eat only meat and not have any salt in your body in your diet that's an absolutely insane thing to say it's just so obviously yeah. not true so it's um well i, I like it's like lesson. Yeah, it's it's also like you shouldn't even add salt. It's like salt like makes food better. <laughs> like there's like you know you can like like there's a reason it's at the table. Like yeah, maybe um, don't maybe don't only eat salt or else you'll get a yeah. damn kidney stone. But it kind of worth it. it. Yeah, it's so cool to be like one of those doctors. It's just like nah, I'm a fake doctor now. Like all the uh, like the all like chiropractors. The, yeah, all chiropractors are like the 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 tra like the ones that like warn against like gender conforming surgery and all the other oh, yeah. doctors are like what are you talking about we kicked you out of being a doctor for like you had your <laughs> medical license revoked like yeah, ten years yeah ago. you just moved to Denmark <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was you missed it on Twitter there's like some uh some like gender critical woman that was like uh that was like I I moved out of the U I moved to the U S from the U K to escape the the trans menace and they've kicked me out of their hospital for voicing my opinions and then she posted the write up it's like you literally keep harassing every one of our patients we can't have you here like oh my god it is funny like, how like i don't know it, i mean it's not funny it's just like they're always lying and yeah in some respects i like i think i give them too much leeway because i almost want to believe that they're coming from a place of like um miss uh you know they just don't know enough about the situation yeah yeah but then you see stories of like there was that one story of this uh woman in the uk who was literally in parliament and she said yeah. that she saw a trans person in the bathroom and the trans person said that she's gonna wipe her hands on her penis and oh, then yeah, i think i remember and then the trans person came out and said no i said jeans on my <laughs> jeans yes yeah and it's like obviously that's what she said you heard yeah, it you, wrong yeah because you're once, insane yeah. yeah once you have your you know your pee you're wiping everything else you know you're wiping everything on there it's you know it's definitely what you I mean yeah if you have a penis you might as well use it for that you might yeah as well use it as a paper towel to spend like yeah it's also like if i if i saw it. someone doing that it's like I that's weird it. but <laughs> I, mean, I guess that, that doesn't seem like threatening that just seems weird um what was the uh you know do you know who like the transvestigators are this might be a thing that's like no the transvest i've wanted to make a youtube video about them for a long time because they're 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 the they're, final boss of transphobia i think they think everybody's trans except for them well the thing about them is they they're they like kind of work on me but only in that it's like okay one celebrity like you know, obviously it's not all of them. It's not most of them. It's not even like a few of them. But if they go through this much effort, I feel like there's one. And I don't know sure. who it is. But I want I want to know who the one is. I'm not going to be mad at them. I want to know. And who, you know, yeah, maybe I even... what, out of all the celebrities, which one do you think could be trans and hide again? Yeah. It's like, yeah, but then they, know, they I'm asking all... you, who do you think? Oh, um I I think I talked about this in a group chat once. My uh the real answer is like probably someone probably like someone from tiktok or um uh -huh, uh -huh. probably someone from tiktok or like maybe someone that came from like a different country like i don't know like uh like a less publicized kim petrus yeah uh uh, -huh. uh but like the, the one that i really trump. <laughs> yeah melania trump 
who I who I really wanted to be is like is like um, is uh, is like Richard Kind. Oh yeah, I feel like yeah, Danny DeVito. I think he, yeah, I think I think they're trans mask, but That'd be I, cool. I or I want them to be, but I don't think they are. How about you? Who you got? Um, who's a really tall female actress? <laughs> female <laughs> actress. Tall- yeah. Um, um, what about like Karen Gillan or something? She's cool. Okay. I would I would like yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. Let me. Um, or like um or like Scarlett Johansson or something. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. the The thing is, is that all the transvestigators spend their time like trying to prove that like Johnny Depp is trans, mm, mm-hmm. and it's like that's not fun. Like. Yeah. These you, aren't those aren't the fun people. Yeah, that's like, and it's like obviously not. They're like really public celebrities. And I like did hear knows. my favorite one that I saw was um, somebody talking about why they didn't like uh, Henry Kissinger because <laughs> they thought Henry Kissinger was a trans man and his <laughs> wife was a trans woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that. Uh, I I hate I hate what gender ideology did to uh to southeast asia yep really and our <laughs> lovely our lovely secretary in state position yeah. that was uh, that wasn't that that was a uh, norman finkelstein that said that <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah again he's he's another person where it's like i'm not trans so you know it's like when he says something transphobic it like doesn't mean as much to me but it's like it is funny that he's like still like i hate you henry kissinger and then like everyone's like yay norman finkelstein i hate you know he's like i hate israel it's terrible what israel does and then he's also like oh by the way and then just as a quick aside it's like have you seen what's happening in the bathroom that ain't right and then he goes back to talking about israel (laughs) it was like come on norman finkelstein (laughs) oh you you card oh you card yeah um well, that's our that's sort of the official invitation of Norman Finkelstein to come on the podcast. I think he'd uh, be a great guest. Yeah, he would talk for just an hour, and uh, then <laughs> one of us would just like leave, and we don't notice because he's just been he's just been talking. What a uh, I wonder what what Norman what subreddit Norman Finkelstein would would really be into. I think he would r uh, slash presidents <laughs> r slash presidents probably. Yeah, we're getting him and Noam Chomsky on for a debate. Oh my and, god! Yeah. We're, we're, I do like the idea of getting Noam Chomsky out for a debate. Like I become, I become like a globe emoji guy. It's yeah. like, well, 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 Mr. Chomsky, you think that all the presidents are war criminals, but who would have stopped World War II? And he's just like, please kill me. <laughs> you, you should wait another twenty reasoning. years just so they're really ripe. You know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Oh, Becca, you have a website that I'll that I'll link, and you can tell people about Becca. What's yeah, your website? It's Becca dot fun. I haven't updated it in a while. I. I think last time I came on, I was like, I'm going to make videos soon, but then I didn't. I am trying to, but, yeah. you know, when That's, you're ugly, you know, it's hard to put yourself on camera, you know? It's a little bit of yeah. a, 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 a difficult thing to do. But um, well, I also yeah. am on Blue Sky now, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, that's good. I, I'll be... I'll I'm at import- Silly. Oh really? Oh, that's a good. Yeah. You you picked that one up. I picked up Windows ninety five. Oh, that's pretty good too. Yeah, silly, silly is silly is a good pickup. You should definitely go follow that. Easy to remember. I feel like I've uh, gotten. Uh, I feel like I've been uh, like on my game on there. You know, post. Yeah, no, that's that's good. I I need to I need to be on there more because I'm unfortunately I've been clawing myself back from Twitter by uh being put in like by just making or i'm in like a telegram group chat instead of a twitter group chat ah. that's like my path that's my path to recovery i'll do that and then maybe eventually i'll just uh i'll just go on there to post jokes and you know for a total time on twitter of 20 minutes a week but we're yeah, i gotta i gotta figure something out yeah in my we're, life we're you know up. i gotta stop like blue sky i can't let that become a thing you know like no. i gotta only be on there a little bit yeah. And we're maybe we're then now. one day we can get past the scourge of social media and yes. exist in ha- happily with the world. Yeah, we'll get past the scourge of bad social media and we'll move on to threads. And we'll also uh, <laughs> handle climate change because I think yeah. I think we can kind of if we get our shit together we can get we can fix it in like a month or maybe even sooner. Yeah, 
Well, uh, thanks, guys, for listening. This is yep. a special bonus for you. Make sure All to right. cut up your six-pack of yep. beer so that the fish heads don't get stuck in them in the ocean. Yep. Yeah, or pull it back in when you catch the fish. Yeah. But don't leave it out there. Or a lot of people fish with those. Or take shorter showers and also recycle. And that's yep. how we'll stop climate change. Or take baths and put or, fish in there. Yes, or only eat meat. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe shit and come. That's it. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>